All right, there's a couple things that I want to start with. First is this type of problem where um, I give them some information, like theta terminates in quadrant two, and I know the sine value, and I want to find the cosine value of, of theta, and I'm asked to find an exact value of, of uh, cosine of theta. So I could start to you know use arc sine or inverse sine, that sort of thing, uh, it's actually, that's not really necessarily going to help me get to an exact value. So first off, I'm just going to think about this. Quadrant 2 is, is here. And that makes sense that sine would be positive, because there's my sine and there's my cosine value. I know that cosine is going to be negative, going to the left. So the way I can get my cosine value is I can take advantage of that um, Pythagorean identity, uh, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So I know that the sine is 12 thirteenths. And I don't know what cosine squared is. Uh, so let me, um, let me solve this. Uh, square that, that's 144 over 169, that pretty one, plus uh, cosine squared of theta equals 1. Subtract that from both sides. Cosine squared is 1 minus uh, 144 over 169. And this fraction, this 1, is, is uh, 169 over 169. So I can go 169 minus 144 over 169 cosine squared is equal to that. And so uh, that seems like something I should be able to do. 169 minus 44 is 25. 25, 169. And so cosine squared, that's so if I square root both sides, I get cosine theta is plus or minus the square root of this, 25 over 169. Um, that's 5 thirteenths. And since I know it's in quadrant 2, it's going to the left, it means it must be negative. So cosine of theta must be, uh, that's an ugly negative, let me fix it, negative 5 thirteenths. So these problems, if you know one of them and you know where it terminates, you can find the other one. Uh, using that Pythagorean relationship. That's a great problem. All right, so uh, that being said, we are going to have a, um, an assessment next time we meet. And you're going to be given a practice assessment today. You know that practice assessments, uh, are always everything's always posted in the, on the website in the pre-calc. So if I look here, um, go to today, Practice assessment is there. The solutions will be there, so you will see them here shortly. Um, the other thing I want to point out to you is if you go into pre-calc, we're in topic four right now. Um, I made video solutions to all the problems on the practice assessment. So here's my practice assessment one through six, seven through nine, that sort of thing. And also on the videos, if you don't want to sit through the, the whole thing, hey, hush, you. Um, if you actually like watch it on YouTube, in the descriptions, I put little time. So if you just want to go straight to problem nine, not watch me do the other ones, click on it. It'll take you straight there, and he'll talk some more. Our next one. Hey, man, 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 man. All right, he's talking. So there you go. Um, that is, I think, all that you need for, uh, for today. Oh, I'm, I'll have another video posted underneath these ones that are going to be about um, how to use the calculator to verify your solutions. So practice assessment today. Assessment on Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, be good today. Work hard. Let me know if you have any questions.